I just made a new indicator and also a strategy based on the comma indicator, K-A-M-A. -A. It's a free built-in indicator that comes with NinjaTrader. I'll show you how I coded it in Markers Plus, and I'll also show you how I coded it in Strategy Builder. But so far the back testing results have been really good. I've back tested the past two months, January 8th to March 8th. The strategy only trades one hour a day from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And in two months trading one contract on the NQ for the one minute chart, made a little over 10 grand with only $1,200 of drawdown, 78% profitable, took 289 trades, uh, the commission was 1500 that's already factored in there. And our little graph here is looking really good. You want to see a steady, nice, consistent rise. You don't want to see a chart that's up and down and all over the place. So the graph's looking good. The only thing that I don't like about this is the risk to reward ratio. 20 tick profit, 80 tick stop. But it's got almost an 80% win rate. These are the three variables for the Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average, and I've changed them a little bit from the factory standard. I've got two different strategies and two different indicators coded. These dark red diamonds are taking the initial break of the Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average, and the lighter color red and green diamonds. These are printing a signal after we've had a break, and then also one confirmation candle going in the same direction. So this graph, these results, this is from the confirmation strategy. It's taking the trades after we get a confirmation candle after the break. So here's the strategy without the confirmation. This is taking just the initial break of the moving average line. I was able to get pretty similar results, $8,400 after commissions. Drawdown was a little bit more. The percent profitable went way down to 40%, but I've got a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. I've got the same exact custom parameters as I do for the other strategy. And then I also did some back testing on the factory settings for the comma indicator, which are 2, 10, and 30. That's what comes with it default. And with the same 20 tick profit and a smaller stop, these seem to be some of the better results that I could get. 5,700 after commissions for the two months trading one hour a day. So I changed these factory settings from 2, 10, and 30 to a 7 for the fast moving average, a 20 for the period, and a 14 for the slow. I just threw in some numbers that I like that I use with other indicators like the 20 SMA, threw in some RSI and stochastic numbers there. I attached both of these strategies to my chart and did some market replay and they were firing off perfectly in sync with these indicators that I coded on Markers Plus. So everything was working properly, so those backtesting results are most likely accurate. Now, if I was trading this manually, when I got a signal, I would take a trade if we had price move down a decent amount below the signal candle. So right here, we had price move down below the low of the signal candle. This next signal candle, price moved below the low of this signal candle. We moved down a little bit. This signal right here, price moved above. And this might look like a little blip, but that's almost 10 points there that it moved up. This candle, we get another signal to the upside. But look at this candle, never breaks above the high of the signal candle. So I'm not taking that trade. Whereas the strategy would have taken that trade. This signal candle to the downside, the next candle never breaks this low. It would not have taken that trade. The strategy would have taken it. This signal, price moves above, pops up about eight points there. This signal candle to the downside, we get a move below. This signal candle to the downside, we do not get a cross below until this candle, and price comes down about 15 points there. So that's how I would trade these indicators manually. I could also code that in the strategy to calculate on each tick and just have the current bid or ask go below the previous low, something like that. I literally just came up with this strategy tonight, so I haven't had that much time to play around with it. 
I mean, it's pretty much very similar to the 20 SMA crossover strategy. And I've done a complete step-by-step -step video. If you look for Dave's best moving average strategy in my YouTube videos, you'll see a full description of how to trade the 20 SMA cross using some hand-drawn support and resistance. And these are all using free built-in Ninja Trader indicators. But when I find something like this that works, that I like, like the moving averages and Bollinger's, I enjoy getting the Ninja indicators like the superior Bollinger and the moving average crossover because there's so many different ways I can customize and make my own signals and chart backgrounds and bar colors and all kinds of different things that I can't do with the built-in indicators. And if you go to Ninza's website, they've got one called the Comma Pro. With the built-in indicator, you don't have all these features, but with their indicator, you know, you can print custom backgrounds, the moving average will change colors, you can print custom signals, and not only that, but you can set a threshold based on a specified number of ticks. You can also set a smoothing parameter to clear up any choppy movement. You got the alerts, the pop-ups, colored background. This is why using the Ninza indicators really helped me have a breakthrough in my trading, just because I could finally visually create what I wanted to see. So if you don't have Markers Plus and you can't code these indicators yourself, and you can grab something like this. It's on sale now for 137 bucks, but if you use my code, if you use code MONKEYMAN, you get an additional percentage off any kind of sale price that they already have on their website. Not necessary, but they definitely can make the charts look pretty and add some useful features. But let's check out the markers logic that I use to make these signals. First, I've got the markers copy of the comma indicator. And this is just with the standard settings of 2, 10, and 30. I've named it KAM. So in my logic, I want the close of two bars ago to be greater than the comma line two bars ago. And the close one bar ago, I want to be less than the comma line one bar ago. So that just means we have a close above the comma line. And then the next candle, we have a close below. So that's how you identify the crossover. And then the close of the current candle, bar zero, is also less than the close of one bar ago. So zero, one, and two. And then blammo, we get the signal right there to the downside. And then you switch that around for the longs. So that was for the confirmation. For the regular standard crossover, I want the close of the current bar to be less than the comma line of the current bar and the close of one bar ago to be greater than the comma line of one bar ago. And that's where we're getting these dark red diamonds. Here's the close one bar ago. Price is greater than the comma line. Here's the close of the current bar. Close is less than the comma line, so we get this dark red signal. And it's the opposite for the longs. And that's how my strategy is coded in Strategy Builder too. So in this Kaufman's adaptive moving average strategy that I made with the confirmation candle, I'll show you how I coded that. So under the inputs and variables, I've got the fast labeled F, the period labeled P, and the smoothing or the slow, I can't remember which, which it is, that's S. These are the standard default settings that I put in for the default. For the conditions and actions for a short, I've got my times trading between 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. And again, if anyone hasn't seen the original step-by-step -step video that I made on making strategies, it goes over how to build a strategy from start to finish and how to set times of day, all that good stuff. But here's the two conditions I have, one for the comma cross and one for the confirmation candle. So here I've got under the price folder, I've got the close, the current close, zero bars ago. I want a cross below a look back period of two. And then for the comma indicator, you can see for all my parameters, I've set these to my user input, the fast, the period, and the slow. I've set all these to my own user inputs. And that's what allows me to customize them in strategy analyzer. And then for the confirmation candle, I've got the close of the current bar zero bars ago is less 
than the close of one bar ago. So that's for the confirmation candle. That's for the shorts. For the longs, it's just the exact opposite. Close is greater than the close one bar ago, and the close of the current bar crosses above the comma with a look back period of two. And once again, you want to set your parameters for your custom input modes if you want to be able to change those later. Now it's in my strategy folder. I can add it. I can add any special parameters that I want. I can add my profit and stop. So there you have it. Another absolutely free strategy that you can use with the built-in free indicators. And it didn't cost you $350 a month. I've got quite a few strategies that I've built over the years. You can see not all of them have produced that great of results, but quite a few of them do pretty well. If you would like to support the work that I do on this channel, you can always use code MONKEYMAN over at Apex Trader Funding. You always get the best price. And if you're interested in grabbing any indicators from Ninza, same code, MONKEYMAN, always get you the best price over there too. And a free way that you can support is just to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good ideas for your own trading. Have a great day. <laughs>